Why isn't she animating? Did I get scammed? Viv again, and today I will show you a suit breakdown of all the Hell event suits, including the four main suits Ace, Bobo, Kimmy, and Lunar, the three side suits and the recolors, as well as the animated suit. And yes, I will get the animated suit to do what she does, which is animate. Don't worry, I did not spend 25,000 diamonds for nothing. I will get her to move. Or perhaps. It's best that she doesn't move because I see a lot of comments saying she's creepy. Is that true? So I posted this poll on my YouTube community. I just posted this not long ago, but let's see what the comments are saying. Let me refresh this. 128 votes so far. 38% says yes? And 62% says no. Okay, so the majority are saying no. That's great. But there's also a large number of people who are saying yes too. Let's see what the comments are saying. Why? She twitches where? Uh, let's just stare at her too much into her soul a little bit, but no. And then Jenny says first. Ah, wow. In this video, I am going to show you how the suit looks like once I get her to animate it. But first, let's check out the suits of the Hell events because we have a lot of suits here. First up, we have flowers in the something. It looks like it got cut off. Let's start with the side suits first. First up, we have this beauty right here and I'm going to strip her down to do a suit breakdown. We have the hair. Wow, cute little braid we have going on right here. And then we have gloves, flower, dress, knee leglet thing. Here are the shoes, which aren't really shoes. It looks like just ribbons wrapped around her feet. We have her headdress, which looks like a skull of a dead animal. Earrings, her handheld, which looks like a dream capture. And then we have the neck piece. So. Here is the side suit number one. It also comes with a recolor too. And when you get this in the hell event, you get the entire suit. So you can't get like pieces of the suit. It has to be the whole thing. Here is the recolor, which looks very much similar, except it's brown color instead of the blue color. Here is her dress. And honestly, it looks very wastelandy in this brown color. Here is the flower. Here is the bracelet, necklace, earrings, skull headdress. It looks like a ram actually if you look at the horns here. Here are the shoes which again aren't really shoes, they're just ribbons. And then here is the anklet on her knee and there it is. Pretty decent suit. I wouldn't expect much since it is a side suit. Next suit is going to be Spring Wind. And here is color number one. It looks like a Claudian style, very simple outfit. There are only five pieces here. Here is the hair. And here is the dress. Here are the shoes. Here is the little hair clip thing. And that is her purse. That's it. Only five items. And then the recolor is going to be the same thing except purple color instead of red. And again, not a lot going on here, but still a very cute suit. Actually really glad that this hell event comes with these side suits and recolors because for the amount that you're spending, you should be getting a lot more. Next side suit is going to be Dark Tide at Night. And here is the first color, hair. Honestly, not a fan of the hair. It's just so oddly cut. It's like a bow cut with a braided tail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a really funny hairstyle in my opinion. And then here is her top. Here is her bottom. I actually really, really like the bottom. It's like a skirt 
and then there's a wrapping around one side of her skirt. Really, really creative. Here are the socks, the shoes, the hat, and the necklace. Let's go to the recolor. And it's the same thing, except it's like brown color. So here is the hair. Oh my gosh. I feel like this color is better than the black one. The black one just looks like a very bad bow cut. And here's the skirt. Here are the socks, the shoes, the hat, the necklace, as well as the top. And now, let's go to the fun part. We are going to do the four main suits. Let's do World in Dream. And this is going to be Lunar Suit. So, of course, compared to the side suits, a lot more going on here. Let's do the breakdown because we have many pieces. First up, this giant hair. Wow. Here's her makeup. Big old pose right here. Here's her headdress. Whoa, this headdress looks heavy. There's like a fish thing, flying fish thing. I don't know what this is, but it's a pet. So it must be some sort of fish thing. There's a giant scroll that's way too big for this game because it's off screen in all directions. Flying pendant, more little flying fishies in the background. And let's go into the view room to check her out. Wow, she is a beauty. So let me make her smaller. She takes up the entire screen here. Wow. This is huge. And this is just one of the fishies. There's another one. And another one. There's like three total here. And they are really, really big. No, there are four total. Wow. It's unfortunate that all of these fishies can't be at the screen at the same time unless you make it 36%. And then don't forget about this lone fishy right here. Oh, these four are swimming in a school and there's like a little loner over here. Oh, don't worry. I'll put you in a pact. I'll put you up front and I'll make you bigger. So you'll be the leader. <laughs> and now let us look at the original pose. We have a ton of pieces of suit hair. Wow. Imagine the duplicate. <laughs> so here is the makeup. Here is her dress as a standalone. Here is her cape thing. Wow. It's a cape that turned into smoke. That's really something. Here are her branches of yellow flowers. Waxing moon, which is her necklace. Giant headdress. Giant as always. Here is her little fishy. Here's her shoe. Her socks are made of smoke. Wow, but you don't really notice it because of the giant dress. And here is her coat. You know, I actually really like the lunar suit, but I like the other suits better. I'm so sorry, lunar. Don't do the hashtag justice for lunar on me, please. <laughs> Up next, we have glorious chapter, which is the beautiful. Kimmy suit and I love this suit because of the lion of course so let me do a suit breakdown of her here is her golden eyed makeup and here is a standing it's called fire rain when you go into the view room there's actually two of these here's her earrings here are her petals feathers kind of things and here is her special sitting pose. Very beautiful. It's animated, you can tell because of the yellow hearts. It's an amazing suit. 10 out of 10 for sure. Kimmy is my absolute favorite suit in this whole event. So let's go to the view room and let's check her out. Let me bring her up front and let me move over to her background too. Here is her background. Wow. Chandeliers, very golden, very beautiful. So let me make Kimmy small. And let's look at her other pieces. Let's look at the lion. Wow. Sharp claws. 
beautiful, glorious white mane. This is like a giant wing thing. Oh man, big old tail too. He's so big that he can't even fit the screen. Let me rotate him to see if I can make him sideways. Yeah, he fits better sideways. Very, very majestic creature we have here. And then the other items is going to be candle chandelier kind of piece thing. And then the other one, oh gosh, I don't even know where the other one is. Hello? Are you off screen? Can anyone tell where this piece is? Because I can't see it anywhere. It's not this one. Uh, <laughs> guys. Are we getting scammed here? Anyway, <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's check out the Kimmy main pose. And this is her standing pose. Very, very beautiful. Here is her makeup, her earrings, her feathery things. Here is the dress. Very, very majestic dress. It has the goddess and the evening gown tags. Beautiful. And then here is... What the heck is this thing? It has a pet tag on it. I don't even see my Kimmy changing at all when I put this on and take it off. Uh, is this a scanned item as well? Anyway, here's the necklace. Here is her wine bottle with a Tinkerbell on it. And here are the high lamps. And her shoe, of course. Very magnificent suit. My favorite by far. Next suit. Let's check out the ace suit. Now the ace suit is going to be my second favorite suit. She looks like such an amazing warrior with her special pose here. She has this angel as well and this zodiac thing at the bottom of her feet. And... Okay, it's a little funny because when you like move out a piece of her, she tilts sideways a little bit. It's because the face has to like, you know, line up with the body. Let's check her out in the view room. So wow, immediately her angel gets the spotlight, but this is how she looks like. Big, beautiful suit, very angelic looking. Let's check her out with her background which is the very celestial constellation one. Let me make her smaller and let's look at her side pieces. So immediately, her angel took the spotlight. Wow, this is an amazing piece right here. It's like an angelic constellation kind of thing. And it looks like she's just a spirit genie kind of thing coming out of her lamp. Very, very nice item. And then we also have these big old knights that looks like constellations. So there's one knight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like ten little warriors riding their little ponies. Very awesome item. Again, very, very giant. You can't even fit everything in your screen unless you make it like 35%. But yeah, this is a very, very cool piece right here. And now let's check out the original pose. Here she is. And did you guys notice how tall her shoes are? Mega platform shoes right here. Let's strip her down. And first up, we have long sword. This is something that players notice really quickly. This sword is way long. It's like taller than her body. Here's her dress. Here is her cape. And here are her, I would like to say, waist guards. I'm not really sure what they're guarding being the way they are right here. Here are her gloves. Here's her flower head piece. Big platform shoes, as well as a coat. Yeah, this is a coat. <laughs> Ace is such an amazing character. After you completed all of the three suits, the Ace, the Kimmy, the Lunar, you get to unlock pulling for the one and only Bobo. So this is the Bobo suit and I think the Bobo suit is the most biggest and grandest of them all. 
this is how she looks like. And she is really, really something because she has multiple big pieces. Here is her giant backgrounding. Here is another giant background piece. And then here are her puppeteer arms. Giant arms are here. You can't see it now, but I will show you in the view room. It's huge. There's Dreamland Puppet, which is her special pose. And here are the tears that she cried. And now let me take you into the view room to see how grand she really is. Wow, so immediately the giant sofa took over, but let me bring Bobo forward. Here is her and her sitting pose. Let me make her tiny and move her to the side. Here is the chair. Wow, this is the thing that she's sitting on. It is gigantic over here. And there are some words that I don't really understand. It's not even in English, <laughs> but let me make her tiny. And let's take a look at the other pieces here. It's like a blue rose waterfally statue kind of thing. Holy moly. This is a fountain and here is an angel in a cage and there are angels everywhere. I need to make it smaller so that you can see the entire thing. So now you can see the entire thing at 38%. But if you make it bigger, this is a close up of it and it is amazing. I love the details of the waterfall here. It's just an amazing piece of art. Wow. Good job to the artist. And next piece is going to be big hands. <laughs> oh, grabby grabby here. Let me rotate it a little bit. And these hands are too big for their own good too. Uh, so yeah, it looks like you can just grab something like a claw machine game. Let me make it smaller. And there are more little hands here. These are like this configured puppeteer hands here. Kind of creepy looking. And let me show you her background as well, because her background is a little creepy as well. In my opinion, here it is. So hand, very grabby, grabby human heads. Oh my goodness. Hands, hands, humans at the bottom. Oh my gosh. This is like zombie land a little bit. Wow. This, this is scary. Like for Bobo being as cute as she is having a suit that is so dark. I guess that's why they call her dark Bobo, right? <laughs> and now I have showed you all of the main suits as well as the side suits. Let's do the 3D animated suit right now. The installation version is too old. Live 2D interaction is not available. Please go to the website or the app store to update. Don't worry. I got this. There you go. Now she's animating. Oh my gosh. Let me make her bigger so that you can see. There she is walking into the room, just chilling. And okay. The question is, is this suit creepy? So immediately <laughs> you see her sort of wiggling a little bit. Oh gosh, this is really, really weird. I have to agree with that. The reason she's wiggling like this is because of the placement of your phone. So if you like tilt your phone one way, she's going to look towards that way. If you tilt your phone the other way, she's going to look towards that way. So I guess my phone is tilted a little bit this way and she's sort of looking this way. And I don't know why she's like wobbling a little bit. She's like a little bobblehead, but I don't know. People don't move this way. That's why people are saying she is creepy looking. But do I think she's creepy? Uh, let's see. Let's see what else she's going to do. So let me bring her to the view room and okay. She's still doing the weird twitchy thing. Let me move the screen a little up so you can see everything. So you can tap her for her to move. So I'm going to tap her and oh, she actually does really, really cute poses. My favorite is when she does the heart thing. Let me see if she, yeah, there it is. The heart and the wink is so adorable, but she's still a little bit twitchy when she's supposedly standing in place. Actually, let me tilt my screen a little bit. So, oh, 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 okay. 
Why is she still bobblehead? <laughs> So yeah, I was able to tilt my screen a little towards this way. She's looking at that direction right now, which is a really cool feature, but she's still bobbleheading. <laughs> Why does she do this? Um, yeah, so here's me tilting the screen. Oh, that's a cute pose. It's like a little thinking pose. Has she stopped wobbling? Guys, guys, I think she stopped wobbling. Let, let me tap her. Oh, just the absolute cutest. I love it when she do that heart pose. Let me put the screen back in normal position and okay, okay. She's... It's easy to get her to do the bobblehead thing. Let me see what other movements she can do. It's a, like a little tilt. Uh, here's a little cute pose. Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, wow, that butterfly came out of nowhere. That's cute. Let's tap her again. She's doing the <gasps> pose. Very adorable. Oh, there's the butterfly again. Oh, yeah, she has several different poses if you tap her. It's a wonderful feature. I love what they did here. It looks like she's just repeating what she's doing. I'm not sure how many different animations there are, but I can see that she's wobbling again. I love that little kick pose too. Oh, She looks like she's pouting here. So cute. What else can she do? Ugh. My absolute favorite is that heart one, I swear. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I think I showed you all of them. She doesn't make any noises, which I think for the amount that I'm spending, she should at least make a noise too. But I guess we're paying for her animation and not the audio. Very, very cute suit. Unless she's like wobbly, <laughs> then she's considered weird. Like right here, right now. She's shaking like, Nikki, are you cold? Do you need a jacket? <laughs> anyway, that is all for the animated piece. I actually want to show you the other pose. I mean, the other pose is not much difference. The only difference is that one pose is animated and one pose is not. At least that's what it seems like so far. Here it is, and here is the original pose and it's just like not moving right here. So if you are having issues getting your suit to animate, try updating your game or maybe you're just at the wrong pose and do the special pose instead of the original. So yeah, that is it. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this Nikki character did not creep you out that much. I actually really like her despite her odd twitching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more Love Nikki and Miracle Nikki content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time.